Hi, I'm Ryan Fernando, sports nutritionist, and I'm here today reviewing another great product. Uh, it's Phosphatidyl Serene from Best Source Nutrition. Uh, the reason why I recommend one of these products to my athletes is its combination of Phosphatidyl Serene and Phosphatidyl Choline. Now, very few people across the world recommend phospholipids in sports performance, and I want to be the first to educate a lot of you out there on how I've had a lot of success with my athletes. For example, if you go online uh, and, and type up phosphatidylcholinocerine in marathon runners, there are specific scientific articles. There's a beautiful article called Phospholipids and Sports Performance. So I'm sharing this study here today with you. First thing you need to understand, phosphatidylcerine makes up 15% uh, of your brain and 7% of your lungs. So when you train really hard, if you're losing this molecule, you're going to have a drop in your breathing performance and drop in your intellectual brain perspective in terms of reaction time and ability to focus. For example, they did this study on Boston Marathon runners in 1985 and 1986. And this is the pre-race and this is the post-race. And what you're seeing over here is a 40% reduction in phosphatidyl choline levels. So that's where I came about, you know, understanding uh, the perspective of how this nutritional supplement can help people. Also in choline concentration, without supplementation, there is a drop of 17%. However, when you supplement with phosphatidylcholine, there is a 3% increase. And when you do supplementation without increase, there's a 27% increase in your blood. Now the blood is a key area that fuels all nutrition to the human body. So I recommend phosphatidylserine and choline as a nutritional supplement. We then have uh, changes in lactic acid concentration. This, when I was doing my research, I was like, whoa, lactic acid, athletes train at a very high perspective. Lactic acid goes really high. You can't fire the muscle really uh, for the next repetition. But when you do without supplementation, there's a 16% increment in lactic acid. However, if you supplement with phosphatidylcholine, there's 11% drop. So this product has both phosphatidylserine and phosphatidylcholine. And so after two hours, there's nearly a minus 25% reduction. So you could come back the next day with lesser lactic acid in the muscle. And lactic acid is, a, is, the, is the acid that creates a higher pH, uh, that creates the, uh, the acidic pH in your muscle and uh, doesn't allow your muscle to fire as quickly. Muscle bone, simple thing. Let's go further. They did a muscle soreness index and they saw that it kept with the placebo, placebo is like you thought you're getting something, but with the actual phosphatidyl uh, serine supplementation, there was a drop in muscle soreness as compared to the placebo people. So this is great for me. I want to give it to my athletes. And then finally, creatine kinase, which is an index, creatine kinase, which is an index for uh, muscle breakdown and damage is the highest with the placebo. That means there was no supplement. And with phosphatidyl serine at 600 milligrams and 300 milligrams, there was an almost similar reduction in terms of the creatine kinase. Now, all of this when I put together gives me great information on sports performance. In fact, there was a study on the, the theoretical calculation is about a 30% improvement in aerobic capacity. And I've seen this with resting heart rates come down. And so at the end of the day, I really, really want to look at you know, this, is a, this was a study done on Boston Marathon runners, okay? Marathon three, three and a half, four hours. Think about it. Every elite athlete trains three to four hours a day. So you're really bringing down phosphatidylserine and phosphatidylcholine levels. So phosphatidylserine from Best Source Nutrition, whilst they are advertising for memory and cognitive health ma management, I recommend it for all my athletes in terms of enhancing aerobic capacity, uh, lowering lactic acid, reducing creatine kinase and pushing yourself. Dosage, one to two capsules early morning on an empty stomach. Um, dosage during competition, one or two capsules about one hour prior to your workout. That's me, Ryan Fernando, on my uh, supplement review. Do I consume this product? Yes, I do work out. And yes, I do see an improvement in my brain and performance. I kind of do phosphatidyl serine uh, uh, one month on, one month off as a recreational athlete. Um, uh, and uh, whenever I remember it, like today I'm going to remember it, I'm going to pop a capsule of phosphatidylserine and phosphatidylcholine. It's normally found in egg yolk, soya beans and uh, uh, sunflower seeds. So you get it naturally uh, in your diet also. But uh, for those who go beyond three hours of training, a nutritional supplement uh, is a great way to beat 
uh, your uh, requirements of coming back within 24 hours for the next session where your diet cannot keep pace with what you really need. Thank you so much.